What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we are continuing with the GTA 6 tutorial series and in this episode we will set up the police AI site detection. It's going to be a very easy video to follow so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do is go into our AI controller. So let's go to the AI folder, go to police and there we can see the BP AI police. So, uh, this is not the pawn itself, it is the AI controller, where we go ahead and run the behavior trees. And then, you know, in the pawn, we have the AI controller selected. So in here, what we're going to do is add a new component that will allow this AI to sense other pawns. In this case, we're going to go into the add section in components, and we're going to go ahead and search for AI perception, okay? Let's go ahead and hit enter and basically this new component will allow our AI to sense things. Now there are different senses that we can use as you can see here. In this case we're going to be using the sight. So for the dominant sense let's add the AI sense sight as well for the policemen the dominant sense will be sight right by default. And then the senses configuration but we want to add a new one which will be the sight configuration okay. Basically you know we can sense objects by seeing them and in the future we can have hearing and so on but right now we will concentrate for this now it's not i'm not guaranteeing that in the series we will cover hearing but if you, you know would like to see that go ahead and let me know i also have a uh, this tutorials on the rpg series and how to set up uh, by hearing so you can check that out too all right so in here we have for example things as the site radius the loss uh, site radius the visual angle and all that stuff for now let's drop this to around 85 so it's a bit harder to see the players and then also the site radius let's drop it to around 2500 and then the uh, losing one will be something as just overall uh, 3000 okay and with that we are good to go so now our AI will be able to see stuff and we can actually check this out by uh, going and pressing play. But first, I want to also cover a quick thing which is on detection by affiliation. As you can see in here we can detect enemies, neutrals or friendlies. Now, the perception system is mainly built for C++ and this adaptation for blueprints sometimes can get a bit buggy. So in that case, we're going to head and make sure to take all of the different affiliations and we can just manage ourselves manually what uh, pawns we are seeing and if they are friends or not. So we will not use this affiliation system with the perception, okay? We will use our own in the future just because this is a bit buggy with blueprints. So make sure to enable all of these to avoid errors. And now, yes, we can go ahead and press play. And as you can see, you can have the AI here. And if I press my debugging key on the uh, tilde here, for objects and so on, you can see that we press then the key uh, 7, we can see perception, uh, which needs to be on the numpad, okay? There we go. So, as you can see, if you basically press the uh, tilde key right next to 0, so one key uh, right to 0 on your keyboard, and then press 6 on your um, on your keypad, right, the numpad, you can see that we can see the uh, perception. Now, um, make sure to activate it and disable you know any others in this case we want also this one um we might want uh, the perception system which is seven and we want maybe mass ai for the future as you can see here we detect this as an ai and we have this listeners and so on so basically right now you know our ai isn't necessarily seeing our player but if we go into his site okay and activate this again you can see that now he is seeing us right you can debug it we are on site and this is his vision area if i go we are out of sight and he's also seeing other pawns which is really cool and especially those are mass ai agents so it's really cool that we can you know make our police in the future interact with our civilians right so we can see right now he's seeing me and i can go out of sight with this uh, radius and he will you know lose me and all that stuff uh, and of course all that is managed by those parameters that I showed you at the beginning. So you can toggle those, you know, to your likings. Now for the bugging, I recommend to give them like this, just to test the AI's behavior and all that stuff. All right. So now basically, as you can see, the AI has now perception by sight, and we can detect pawns. So let's quickly just make a piece of code that will, you know, enable a boolean when we are seeing a object. Okay. 
So for this, what we're going to do is go down into the perception details panel. We can see different events. We want to go on the on target perception uh, update. Okay, I'm going to subscribe to this. And basically when the AI, you know, updates its perception, we will go ahead and do a few things. So first of all, what we want to do is get the sense class for stimulus. Okay, so we're accessing that class and we'll get the return value. So we're going to make sure that we are sensing by sight. So let's search for a sight and we have this AI sense sight class. Let's select this. If this is true, that means that well, we have seen our AI uh, well, our on our pawn by sight, which is what we want. So then we're gonna go ahead and just make another branch of here and just check if this is successful. So we can just get the stimulus and just break it. And then if we expand this, we can go ahead and get successfully sensed, drag it here and close this. Okay, so if it is by sight and it is successfully detected, we can go ahead and do something. All right, so now that we have those two conditions, we just need to make sure to kind of tell our behavior tree, right, that we are indeed seeing our player. And if you remember by one of the first episodes of the AI system, we have this blackboard data asset and we have different keys that we can use as variables in our behavior trees. So this time to go ahead and add a new key, which will be a boolean as, you know, we are seeing the target or not. And this will be something as seeing target. Right, and I'm gonna put the, um, the the question mark so we know it's a boolean. So with that said, we can just save, and now on here because this is the AI controller class, I can simply just say get blackboard, and then you say set value as boolean. Okay, in this case, we're we'll gonna go ahead and enable this to true. Now this is not like a normal class, but I can do set uh, seeing target. Um, and then get the variable and set it to true. Okay, this is a universal kind of node that we can just put a key name. So it will be the make literal name, and we'll go ahead and just copy and paste the name so it's exactly the same to avoid errors, and then just enable this to true. And this will find the key in the Blackboard data uh, data with this universal node, and you just you know basically put it to true. Okay, instead of having a manual um, variable, independent variable that we can use. All right, so now with that said, we are enabling that to true and on the behavior tree, now we can access that new variable and we can do stuff. But that will be for the next episode. So that's it guys, I found this video helpful. I would really appreciate it if you like the video and subscribe to my channel. Lots of Unreal Engine 5 videos and tutorials, so check them out. Remember you have full access to the private files through Patreon or YouTube members, so check that out. Join my Discord server, follow me on socials. Now yes, with all I said, bye. Thank you.